today we'll be talking about our top five office accessories. So starting off at number five is gonna be the Steindeck calendar. Now this calendar is huge, it takes up a lot of wall space and not only functions as a active calendar, but also a nice wall decoration. And again, not only does the calendar function as a nice decoration, in the stream background, it looks really, really well. So it adds contrast to the setup as well as fill up a whole space on the wall. So I love it, it looks great. I 100% recommend anyone getting a Steindeck calendar. Now on the four the list is the famous Mario lamps. Fun fact, my wife got it for me at Target. So she was at Target making her Target run and she was like, yo babe, look at this. And I was like, yo, go ahead and get them. So with this Mario lamp, I kitted out with the Philips Hue bulbs. So whenever um, on stream, we have uh, any follow, like, shares, any type of alerts, the bulb will react to that by having a series of different colors queued up, ready to go. So along with the bulbs you see hanging to the bottom of the lamp are some Mario figurines that you can use to turn on and turn off the lamp. So it's pretty fun, pretty simple, but yet effective. Now on the three on the list is the motivational canvases that are right behind me. So you can see right now we have hustle, execution, and grind. So these are constant reminders for me whenever I'm creating content or whatever I step into this room. I'm constantly reminded that I gotta go ahead and put in the work, make sure I execute and take action on anything I got planned. These are great reminders, as well as some aesthetic pieces to the room. So if you guys wanna go ahead and get that, again, everything is down and linked in the description. Now number two on the list is this futon right here. So this futon is kitted out with a hand rest in the middle as well as two cup holders. So they're nice, it's sleek, it comes together. It doesn't take up too much space and, and I love it. Now the futon also comes with two additional hand rests. Of course, this is the futon, so you can go ahead and lower the back of the futon and turn it into a nice little bed if you have any extra guests over, if your guest room is filled, or you can go ahead and then take a quick nap while your video is rendering. And now number one on my list is the Sobro side table. Now this table is top tier. On the top of the table is a spot where you can charge your iPhone, or your AirPods, or whatever device you have that has wireless charging capabilities. You can go ahead and rest it at the top of the Sobro side table. It also comes with a left and right drawer. So now the left drawer is a refrigerator where you can put your drinks, your snacks, or whatever you want in there to be cold and chill until you're ready to use them. Now the right drawer is just additional storage. And the fun thing with the Sober is it has Bluetooth capabilities. So you can hook up to your phone, hook up to your PC, whatever devices that you have Bluetooth capabilities with, it can go ahead and connect to those. Now of course, what's tech without RGB, right? So in the back of the Sobro, you can go ahead and adjust the brightness of the lights in the back, as well as the colors of those lights. Now also in the back of the Sobro device, there's a section where you can plug in multiple devices. So it not only works as a speaker, a fridge, a storage unit, a charger, it can be used as multiple chargers as well. So it's a pretty functional, modern, sleek accent piece in the room that has a ton of utility. Now let's say if you wouldn't be walking into the room at night, it's dark, there is a motion sensor feature on the Sobro. So if you walk past it, it's gonna illuminate the area. Now this is not only one of the best accessories I have in the office, but it's one of the most utilized pieces in the office. Now it's time for our honorable mention. So make sure you guys go ahead and leave us a thumbs up if you made it this far in the video. Now we're gonna be talking about the pegboard. Now the pegboard not only serves as great storage, but also a great accent piece. Now on that pegboard, we have our DJI Osmo Mobile 5. So this is a gimbal that I use every single time. Now there's a motion tracking feature that is triggered by hand gestures. Once you go ahead and make those hand gestures, the gimbal will go ahead and track you no matter where you are. At least if you're close enough to the gimbal. Now setting up this gimbal is easy. It comes in three parts, the main body, the legs, and of course there's a magnetic piece that attaches to your phone. And there's also another fun feature that a gimbal has. You can also use it as a selfie stick. You can extend the gimbal to capture content from a different angle. And all these features are accessed by using the DJI app. So make sure you guys go ahead and download the app if you do have DJI Osmo Mobile 5 or any other series to make sure you have the full benefit of the product. Next, we're gonna be talking about the PGY Tech Mantis Pod. So now this tripod is one I use every time on the go. Not only does this tripod hits many different angles, but of course it's very convenient to put together. Now this tripod is also kitted with a mantis hook. Now this hook you can use it to mount it on a wall, fence, or wherever you want. And that will allow you to shoot from different angles. Next, we'll be talking about a DJI microphone. Now this microphone comes with a transmitter, two microphones, and some cell phone adapters. As you can see, I use the microphone all the time, paired up with my short MLV lav mic. Now this equipment I use all the time, this is the Air Duster. I use Air Duster to clean keyboards, mouse pad, dust in my PC, as well as behind the Sobro side table. All right, next up of course we have my multiple controllers. We have my PS4 aim controller, my PS5 aim controller, as well as my Nintendo 
Pro Controller. Now, with the PS4 aim controller, again, I'm partnering with aim controller, so make sure you guys go ahead and use code TREBWA at checkout. Now, on my aim controllers, I make sure I took off the two top paddles because I didn't want to accidentally click a button, especially in a gunfight when I'm playing Call of Duty or Fortnite. Now we're going on to the headset. So I'm rocking the Course A virtual headset. This headset is also kitted with a mic attachment if you want, or you can use it wireless via the dongle. And if you're a console player like myself, you can go ahead and hook it up into your PS5 controller and you'll be able to get the game sound through there. So again, it's easy, it's functional, and it looks cool. Now also on the pegboard we have the drawers. Now these mini drawers are housing miscellaneous items from wires to aux cord or those additional back pedals that I mentioned earlier. They're all stored in those drawers. Now we're going to be talking about the small rig L bracket. Now this L bracket fits to my Sony a7 IV seamlessly. This is what I use to create vertical and horizontal content but mostly for vertical content. And it also comes with a key that you can use to tighten the base of the small rig L bracket to the Sony a7 IV camera. And it also comes with an additional Allen key. And the peg port also housed my 28 to 70 millimeter kit lens. This kit lens is very convenient and it gets the job done. There's no complaints here for me. Next we will be talking about the Aperture MC. Now this light is the most utilized piece of equipment in my entire office. I use it all the time for product photography or even b-roll. So it has multiple lighting modes like pulsating light, flickering light, lightning, campfire mode, police, you name it, it has it. It's super convenient and I would 100% recommend any creator to have this in their kit. So if you made it this far in the video, make sure you guys go ahead and leave us a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And until next time guys, peace.